Hi again. I've been asked to talk about the how and the why of Haller 2021. And if you're coming from Steam, if you're a user of uh, one of the older versions that was on Steam, uh, I'm going to talk about some of the things that have changed and some of the direction that we've taken. Um, and it's really summed up in a couple of words like modernizing and uh, making the program more usable uh, for modern tasks. So really, um, we've done a lot of things. We've uh, continued to upgrade the uh, GUI. We use our own custom GUI. Uh, we, don't, we didn't feel like Win32 had uh, the tools that we needed to um, really go in the direction we wanted to when we started on the program. So we've got a kind of our own combination of our own GUI and some Win32 components. Uh, we are based on COM still, so it's a, definitely a Windows program. But uh, as you'll see, there are a lot of things that are uniquely our own. Um, and, and in that uh, spirit, we've made a lot of changes to continue to modernize and to continue to make the program more usable on modern computers. And when you think about modern computers, you think about high resolutions, you think about uh, big screens and big monitors, uh, really a wide variety of devices from, from small mobile devices to uh, workstations with a 4K, 8K screens, that kind of thing. So we really have to have a good combination of uh, usability and uh, convenience, simplicity. And to, to do that, we've made some changes to our GUI. We've, um, in this version, we've really done a lot of removal, removal of legacy components. We've gotten rid of the old uh, glass look that was popular in Windows 7. Uh, we've gotten rid of all that legacy components in our GUI. We've continued to improve the, uh, the kerning and the spacing and, and the, the margins, that kind of thing that are available in our GUI control set. Uh, we've added some new controls that are more consistent with the uh, the newer, darker look that uh, is popular these days. We've we've added any new uh, H prop controller, new uh, scroll bar control, rather. Uh, we've continued to change our existing controls, uh, make them more consistent with the color pens and the uh, the general look of um, the dark look that we're using now. And uh, we tried to improve the simplicity. Uh, you can see that we've uh, simplified that uh, the, um, the spacing, the sizing, and the opacity sliders are now just a single click instead of having to uh, drop down a control like you had to do before. This makes it much easier to use on a tablet, or on a, a drawing tablet, that is, or a uh, uh, some kind of mobile device that uses a stylus. It uh, makes it much easier. It's also just more precise. And uh, uh, we've done quite a lot of things like that. We've... Uh, We've simplified our dock, um, our, where images are stored, uh, instead of having them scattered all over the screen. And we've, um, we've really done a lot by way of stability in this build. We've um, looked at a lot of places where uh, there were mysterious things happening in Win32, and we've coded around those things. Um, we've gotten rid of some, uh, some out-of-memory type errors where uh, graphics memory was being used up too much. Uh, and that sort of thing, we've ch taken care of some uh, problems with uh, multiple monitor, monitor support. Uh, for example, the layer panel, uh, when you drop down the list of layer modes, that would get lost if uh, screens were stacked on top of each other. And <laughs> some, some unusual configurations like that, um, things we've looked, like, looked at like that, we've... Uh, improved monitor, multiple monitor support by always opening on the last used monitor unless uh, the configuration has changed, in which case you'll get um, uh, back, the program will open again on the primary monitor. Um, there's quite a lot we've done. We've, uh, back in 2020, we've completely replaced our brush shapes uh, panel with one that's more modern. Uh, they, lar uh, they allow larger content, larger brushes, because it's not just a matter of opening a bigger screen, you have to have content to fill that screen. It can't just be these tiny brushes that we had in the past. That was for a different era. Um, but we replaced them not only with bigger contents, uh, up to 200 or even 400 pixels or more. Uh, there's no real um, size cap on that, but we've tried to be moderate uh, for SSE users so we don't fill up their drives with too much uh, too much content. But we've, we've made a good balance um, of that. Also, creating anim brushes has been improved quite a bit. Uh, brushes with multiple images. It's really just a matter of selecting the image you want and moving it over into this list. 
Uh, that's been simple, simplified greatly. Uh, we still have the access to the old, older ways of creating anim mushrooms, such as uh, using the alt key to pick up an anim brush from an animation or using the brush manager to add frames to an uh, animated brush. And there's several other ways like the, uh, the brush timeline and some other ways you can do that, but those are still there. But that has been greatly simplified. Um, we've improved performance quite a bit. Uh, we've improved the size of brushes. For example, the, uh, the anti-alias pen, which is formerly really just for creating a pen um, that you would draw with, but nowadays you can uh, use it for much larger tasks like airbrushing, and you can even change some parameters with that, such as uh, dry brush. And you can do some other things with it now as well. The performance has been improved quite a bit by uh, additional use of multi-threading. And that's really taken on a sort of a naturalistic um, sort of a, um, has become more of a naturalistic tool uh, instead of just a pen as it was before. Uh, and it can go up to uh, a larger size as it, uh, unlike before. And also additionally, the, um, the airbrush, creation, uh, airbrush creation tool can go up uh, to a much larger size now as well. So those are just a few of the changes uh, we've made. I'm going to shut down. You know, I'm going to stop now because I can do talk about a lot of this much more detail. Um, there's a lot more we've done to We've made uh, a lot of GUI changes. We added uh, a lot of GUI components. Um, we've, we've done a lot by way of that sort of thing. We've done uh, new features, of course. There's... A lot of new features, um, but this is the main gist of the program is about modernizing. It's about making it more usable on uh, newer systems, newer, uh, bigger screens and that sort of thing. So hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.